Hello everyone, welcome to Almighty Tricks. In this video, we are going to solve one question from lead code that is max pair sum in an array. So let's understand what this question is asking. So the question is saying you are given a zero index integer array nums. So uh, uh, one array uh, integer array is given that is nums and you have to find the maximum sum of a pair of numbers from numbers that array from that array. So we need to find a maximum pair from that array such that the maximum digits in both numbers are equal so this is the important part so such that the maximum digits in both numbers are equal okay if it is not possible then we need to return minus one let's see the constraints so constraint is uh, the uh, array size can be up to 100 okay so it means we can uh, use the order of n square or we can use the order of nq to solve this question so i'll be using brute force approach to solve this question let's understand this uh, question with uh, simple examples okay so the important part is uh, given like uh, maximum digits in both numbers are equal what it means so let's take one example so i have so it is saying uh, you have to find maximum sum of pair okay so we need to find the pair so we have let's consider this example and we have this array 51 71 17 24 and 42 and we need to consider all pairs okay so if i consider all pairs let's say 51 71 51 17 then 24 42 so these are the combination uh, all the all the uh, pairs we can we can consider these are the all uh, pairs wh which we can get it from this array okay so let's understand this part maximum digit in both numbers are equal okay so it means what let's say this is one number and this is also a number okay so let me let it be like a and this is b okay so it is saying maximum digit in both numbers are equal so if i see uh, from this number what is the maximum digit so 5 is the maximum digit from this number what is the maximum digit 7 is the maximum digit okay and it is saying both numbers are equal so here these numbers are not equal here it is 5 is the maximum digit from this number and 7 is the maximum digit from this number so both are not equal so we cannot consider this pair okay similarly if i see this one from here 5 is the maximum digit and 7 is the maximum digit both are different so i cannot consider this pair similarly here 5 is the maximum and 2 is 4 is the maximum both are different so i cannot consider similarly this one 5 and 4 both are different i cannot consider but here 7 and uh, 7 so 7 from this number 7 is the maximum number and from this number 7 is the maximum digit so both are same so what i what i'll do i need to add these two numbers a plus b it means what it means 88 okay so i need to consider this right now from this number 7 is the uh, highest digit and 4 is the maximum digit so i cannot consider because both are different here 7 and 4 both are different 7 and 4 both are different 7 and 4 both are different i cannot consider now now consider this number 24 and 42 so from this number the maximum number is maximum digit is 4 from this number maximum digit is 4 okay now i can consider this number okay so i need to add these two numbers so a plus b 24 and 46 is 62 now i have these two numbers i have these two numbers 88 and 66 so what i can do now i need to check which number is the maximum number so 88 the 88 is the maximum number so this is my answer this is my answer so if you see this is the answer let's take this example 1 2 3 4 let me put a and b and let me consider all the digits so if i consider all the digits then 1 2 1 3 one four okay another number another uh, pair two three two four okay then three four so all these are the possible uh, pairs okay one two one three one four two three two four three four okay but if you see from this number the maximum digit is one from this number maximum digit is two both are different so i cannot consider similarly here both are different i cannot consider here also i cannot consider i cannot consider same, same thing for rest of the numbers okay so here we cannot find so we need to return minus one okay now how we can solve this one so i am going to i'll be uh, using brute force approach to solve this question 
as we have constant like uh, uh, the array size can be less than equals to 100 so we can consider brute force approach actually so uh, let's let's take the steps how we can solve this so first of all to consider we need to consider all pairs so to consider all pairs we need to run two nested loops one is will go to i equal to 0 till n then another one is j is equal to i till n this nested loop we need to run okay then we need to find the digit find the max digit from two numbers find the max digit from two numbers like how we are doing here we are finding we have two numbers we have two numbers and we need to find the maximum digit from these two numbers okay so this is the step two and step three if both are same then consider that pair so here if both are same so here uh, seven is the uh, maximum digit here also seven is the maximum digit. so i'll be considering this pair and here also i'll be considering this pair because both uh, digits are same okay these are the max uh, digits so this is the third point and finally we need to return so how we can return we need to once we get this uh, pair the uh, the pair which is having max digits are uh, both the digits are same so those digits we need to add and we need to find the maximum from those um, numbers so here 88 is the maximum and in this case we need to return minus one because we cannot find okay so this is the third this is the fourth step okay let's code this one okay let's understand this uh, solution so i have declared one variable n which is storing a of a, a dot length and another variable i have declared answer which is initially mean value okay now i have taken two for loop one is uh, 0 to n another one is i to n so this is this for loop is basically to consider all the pairs okay and now i have one if condition which is checking whether those two numbers digits are same or not max digits are same or not so let's check that so i have this each same method so in each same method i am get i am accepting two arguments and i have another method called find max digit so this this is the max digit logic so it is very simple uh, like uh, like how we are um, uh, extracting uh, digits from a number that uh, that logic we can apply here and here i am calling like with num1 and num2 this max digit method and i am getting the max um, uh, max digits okay then i am returning if max1 equals to equals to max2 then i am uh, it will return if both are same then it will return two otherwise it will return false so if it is same if it is same then i am considering this pair okay a ai plus aj okay then i am checking like whether this answer already uh, we have implemented we, we have this initialization so if this answer is maximum or not so if it is maximum then we are uh, uh, storing the new value otherwise it will be store the previous value that answer value only it will it will be there okay and here actually we are checking if if integer mean dot mean value is uh, same as answer okay so it if it is the same value which we initialized previously both are same then it means what it is we cannot consider any pairs okay so it will return minus one otherwise it will return answer so the time complexity here will be order of n square okay and we are also checking the uh, finding the digit uh, max digit so for that also we need to consider the time complexity so it will be like uh, uh, max length of a, a number so it will be like uh, order of n square into max length of a number and space complexity is constant because we are not using any uh, extra space so space comp complexity is constant so uh, this is all about this problem thank you for watching this video